what you want to do next is be able to get rid of the grid while making your um, design permanent. So how I'm going to go about doing this is tracing it all with a waterproof marker, so something that's not going to bleed when I start painting. Um, so what you can do is test what you have around the house. You could also use just a normal pen would work. We are going to be covering all these lines again later, so it's not a huge deal what it looks like necessarily at this stage. I would just stick to something that's either black or just a really dark color. So if you're not sure if something is waterproof, this is what you need to do is get a scrap of paper. On that paper, um, do just a few little marks and let whatever you're using dry. So I'm for this example, I'm using just a regular Sharpie, a thin point Sharpie. So we're gonna give it a second to dry. And then what you're gonna wanna do is get a little bit of water on your fingers and then just smear it over those marks. And you can see the Sharpie will not smear. That's our just simple test to do, just to make sure you don't go through and outline everything on your sketch only to find out it's gonna bleed into your watercolors. So whatever you're gonna use, test it. If it's good, go ahead and start tracing your design. Remember, we're not tracing the grid lines, we're tracing just the design. Okay, once you've got all your lines um, traced out with whatever permanent material you're using, whether it's a Sharpie or other pen, go ahead and erase all of your pencil lines. Like I mentioned earlier, you do not want to leave any pencil on your um, project because watercolor almost like magnifies pencils. It makes it easier to see and we don't want that. So go ahead and erase all of your pencil lines. Okay, now this is ready to be painted. So you're gonna go ahead, um, get your watercolors all ready. Make sure you are following your sketch. The important thing that I'm looking for is um, the color blending. So in each of your shapes, do I see multiple colors kind of happening inside there? Um, so like for mine, it was like purple to blue to blue green in some areas, this is like a green all the way fading to the yellow. Things like that is what I'm looking for. So take your time, make it look really good. And um, I'm excited to see what you can do.